father died last November. On your name day, Arena. It was cold then and snowing. I thought I'd never survive this. And you were in a dead faint. And now we can look back on that day and feel no pain. And you're wearing a white dress and your face is happy. I remember if there was music at the funeral. And if I had a volume in the cemetery. He was a general in command of a brigade, but there were few people present. Of course, it was raining then, raining hard, and snowing. Well, I think about it. It's so warm today that we can keep the windows open though the virtues are not yet in flower. He was put in command of a brigade and rode out of Moscow with us 11 years ago. I remember it was early in May and everything in Moscow was in flower. It was warm too, and sunshine bathed everything. It's been nearly 11 years, and I remember everything as if you wrote out only yesterday. Oh God. When I awoke this morning and saw the light in the spring, joy entered my heart, and I longed passionately to go home. Will you take a bet on it? Oh, nonsense. Don't whistle, Masha! Can you? I'm always having headaches from having to go to the high school every day, and it keeps bleeding. A strange thought to come to me as if I were already an old woman. And really, in these four years of working here, I've been feeling as if every day my strength and youth had been squeezed out of me drop by drop, and only one desire grows and gains in strength. To go to Moscow. To drop everything here, sell the house, and go to Moscow. Yes, to Moscow, and as soon as possible. I suspect Arthur will become a professor. But still, he won't want to live here. Only poor Masha must go on living here. Masha can come visit us every year for the whole summer. Everything will be arranged, please God. It's nice out today. I don't know why I'm so happy. I woke up this morning and I remembered it was my name day. And I felt glad in the room in my childhood when Mother was still with us. What beautiful thoughts I had, what thoughts. So radiant today. I've never seen you look so lovely. And Masha is pretty too. Andre wouldn't be so bad looking if he wasn't so stout. It does spoil his appearance. I'm growing old and very thin. Suppose it's because I get angry with the girls at school. Today I'm free. And at home, I haven't got a headache and I feel younger than I was yesterday. I'm only 28. All's well. God is everywhere, but it seems to me that if only I were married and could stay at home all day, it would be even better. I could love my husband. I forgot to mention that Vershinen, our new lieutenant colonel of artillery, is coming to visit us today. We're going to live here, you see. We are simply waiting for the dogs. 
It was our native town. We were born there. Little back many roads. <laughs> we unexpectedly met a fellow countryman. I remember. Do you remember Olga? Back at home, we used to speak of a lovelorn major. You were on the lieutenant then, and in love with somebody. But for some reason, they always called you a major for fun. That's it, the lovelorn major. That's got it. You only wore mustaches back then. You have grown older. You have grown older. When they used to call me the lovelorn major, I was young and in love. I've outgrown both now. But you have a single gray hair. You've grown older, but you're not yet old. I'm 42 anyway. Have you been away from Moscow long? Eleven years. What are you crying for, Master? Are you okay? I'm crying too. <laughs> it's all right. And where did you live? Old Basmani Road. Same as we. I used to live in German Street. That was when the Red Barracks were my headquarters. There was an ugly bridge in between where water rushes underneath. One gets melancholy when one is alone there. The river was so wide and fine. Such a splendid river. It's very cold. Very cold here, and the midges are so many. What are you saying? Here you have such a fine, Russian, healthy climate. You have a forest, a river, and birches. Birches. Dear modest birches, I like them more than any other tree. It's great to live here. Although it's odd that the railway station be 13 miles away. I wonder just why. That's Andre playing. Our brother. He's the number of member of the family. Father was a soldier, but his son chose an academic career for himself. That was father's wish. We dragged him a little today. I think he's a little in love. But to a local lady. To a girl only from yesterday. You used to see the way she dresses. Quite prettily and quite fashionably too, but so badly. <laughs> Some yellow skirt with a wretched little fringe and a red bodice. And such a complexion. Andre isn't in love. After all, he has taste. <laughs> he's simply making fun of us. I heard earlier this week she was going to marry Kotopopov, the chairman of the local council. And that's would do her nicely. They're already at lunch. I'm late. Take my hair, sir. Ah, dear. Oh, God. Yes, but 
I don't understand, and they're not making any sense, and I can't. My, my dear, I beg you, I implore you not to excite yourself. I assure you, they're only joking. They're all kind and nice people, my dear, good girl. They're all kind and sincere people, and they both like you and me. Come here to the window. They can't see us here. We're unaccustomed to meeting people. Oh, this is sweet. This one is beautiful, dear. My darling, don't be so excited. Believe me. Believe me, I am so happy. My soul is full of love, of ecstasy. They can't see us. They can't. Why? Why or when did I fall in love with you? I can't understand anything. My dear, my pure darling, be my wife. I love you. Love you as never before.